So like, what do you do with these? <laughs> like, do you keep, I kept the napkin, you guys, how gross is that? But like, do you keep your, your prom glasses? No, I mean, no. no. No, see, my husband's shaking his head now. So. Hi guys, happy Saturday. Um, it's 11 and I'm on my way to see Wanda. Um, if you guys didn't follow me, she uh, is the designer that I'm working with um, for my uh, collection that we're coming out with. So um, I'm gonna go see her for a fitting for um, the Thrifters Anonymous new series that we're doing where we took some vintage pieces that we found at the thrift store and we're like restyling them based on um, your guys' votes and ideas. And we did choose a couple of designs, so I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna go there and then um, come back home and I have a lot of organizing to do. I'm getting clothes ready. I've taken a bunch of pictures of some clothes that I am putting on to the site finally. It's taking me forever. This is like way more work than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I keep, you know, I keep saying that it's gonna come up and it doesn't. Um, and then I'm uh, gonna take some pictures for my blog and then I'm going to go out to dinner to celebrate my friend Donya's birthday. Probably won't be filming too much with her, but I'll ask her if she wants me to. We're gonna go to downtown Summerlin, of course. And um, so, anyways, I gotta go because I'm gonna be late, but um, just wanted to say hello to you guys, and I will fill you guys in later. All right, bye. Hey guys, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you um, the sequins. I just took some video of uh, the sequins we're gonna be making the sample out of for my um, collection. I'm really excited. So I got to see Wanda. We finished my piece for Thrifters Anonymous. So that was exciting. And look what she got me, you guys. She got me a really cute little gift. So I thought I'd open it up. This is her card, Wanda Merritt. And um, of course she does her own designs, but then she also does some um, reconstructing, reconstructing and um, things like that. So, I can't believe she got me a gift. Oh my gosh, how cute is Wanda? A version of Beautiful for Women, Estee Lauder. Sure dash. Oh, it's a like a perfume spray. Let's smell this. Hmm. Smells good. Oh my god, how cute is this? <gasps> A butterfly. Oh my god, I wonder if Faith is watching. That's really cute. That's really cute. What else did she get me? Oh, I really like this um, this gel. I think it's by like Mary Kay or something. Velocity. I had some glitter gel that was this brand, Velocity. Oh yeah, Mary Kay. Ten dollar gift card. To Mary Kay. Very cool. Well, thank you, Wanda. That was really sweet of her. Um. Oh. And I wanted to um, open up this package here from Blingzy. So let's. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Thank you, Sheena, for spreading the world. I sold four Blingzies from your video. Oh my god, that's awesome. Enjoy your new baby Blingzy. I have enclosed another microfiber cloth as well. Use it to polish your jewelry or clean your sunglasses or phone screens. And this is. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh. So this is like a prototype that she created for me. And um, it's a smaller version of the large Blinky, which I've been using. I don't have to show you guys. Um, but you can like her on Facebook. She's at um, Bling My Bling, or Bring My Bling. Let me show you guys. Bring my bling and she's also on twitter at blingzy usa she's so cool what, what i loved about this if you guys missed it is not only does she create these but the women who create it 
there's a story about the women who create um, each of these, and she puts it here um, from Indonesia. And um, they talk about their life and their jobs and their struggle. And um, these all go, some of the proceeds, obviously, that she pays them to make them. And just the story behind it. And this is freaking adorable. What a perfect little thing for travel, right? Oh my God, and it has like these leather straps. And um, your Blingy purchases helping organization, Hope House. So, oh my goodness, you guys. So, if you see, you roll it out like this. So let me go get some of my jewelry, I'll show you. Okay, so I just found like a little bracelet. But basically, you set all your jewelry along here and then you take it and you roll it so you just roll it roll it so that when you're traveling you just roll it and it doesn't get all crazy and then you just tie it around and what I love is this you guys this fits in my purse when I do photo shoots and stuff I'm always like needing jewelry and then I just stuff it like watch I bet you I even have some jewelry I do look at I throw jewelry in my purse like this vintage little sweater thing. And, oh my God, see? This is my ring. I should just one in my purse to get jewelry. Look at, I literally throw like my little unicorn earrings that I got. So what is cool is that you just roll it up. And then it just, Fit, so then you just tie these together obviously and then look this like fits right in my purse oh my gosh that's awesome this is awesome ah thank you so much Pamela this is so cool okay yeah so I'm gonna take pictures for you guys um this is what the the new ones the colors that she has now um, so if you see a color that you like um, let her know and then I get a discount. I think I've left it down below what my discount is for you guys if you guys want to order them But I think these would be like the best gifts for the holidays, too. So Anyways, I love it. I'm gonna use it and take some pictures for the blog and stuff so so that you guys can see it But yeah, yay! all right Hi guys, so I thought I would bring out the camera because every weekend I've been really trying to like let go of things and if you don't know me personally, you don't know that I hold on to a lot of things and if you couldn't tell by my thrifting. Um, but anyways, I was just laughing because I was like going through glasses like randomly over here and I was like, oh, should I get rid of this? And it was my prom glass from 1997. And this, okay, this particular prom, I actually went with one of my best friends, Kevin. He's married now and his wife won't let us talk to him <laughs> on Facebook. But he was me and my friend Edwina's best friend and he took me to prom in my junior year. And so like, what do you do with these? <laughs> like, do you keep, I kept the napkin, you guys. How gross is that? But like, do you keep your, your prom glasses? No, I mean, no. No, see, my husband's shaking his head no. So anyways, I was laughing about that, and like, I have a Delta Zeta mug that I'm keeping, and then I have my senior prom. My heart will go on. Well, it did. <laughs> I am not married to my prom date. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it's just like, they're beautiful glasses, but, like, do we keep these? I'm gonna say no. Then I have to show you. So anyways, this is just my area of trinkets. My mom, when we went to our first ballet, got us these ballerinas and like some of these things like you you don't have to let go of these like I can hang them in my craft room and it's fine but she bought us this she was so excited at the Nevada Ballet um, so like some of that stuff I have like sentimental well I have sentimental <laughs> attachment to everything but what I have to show you is my mom for our wedding dried <laughs> our bouquets but my mom was a foreigner she was from Israel and she didn't know that you're supposed to buy like a special spray that you, you spray the flowers and then it holds the color and it, they're like dried and then you put them in this like glass thing. She just dried them on this basket. And my mom was a florist too, which is so funny. But anyways, this was my bouquet if you guys want to. Maybe I'll insert a picture of what my bouquet looked like. 
They were calla lilies, like burgundy, but look at them. They're really sad, actually. I don't know if that's a reflection of our wedding, is it? But look at it. Like, we had them all decorated, and um, it was a Moroccan theme, so, like, each of the bouquets had, like, different things. They look really bad. <laughs> I think it's time to let go, and I think my mom would appreciate me letting go of these. I, did, I don't think she'd want me to hold on to them, so these are going to go. Oh, and my Delta Zeta mug. I was in a sorority, and I'm pretty sure I don't need this. <laughs> My husband is just laughing. I don't know if you can hear him. <sighs> Anyways, oh, but I am starting to take pictures for my store, you guys. And look at these shoes. They don't fit my feet. Um, but they're Stuart Reitzman vintage heels. And if anybody is a size, what size are these? You like how I bought them without knowing? Oh, well, they say nine and a half. They don't fit a nine and a half. I think they fit like an eight and a half. But look at the detailing. Anyways, that's just some of the stuff I'm going to have. Some, like, really beautiful vintage pieces and some new pieces. Some pieces that just don't fit me anymore. Things like that. So, anyways, going through stuff. Good morning, friends. It is Sunday, and I am driving to breakfast. Um, last minute, we decided to go to breakfast. My sister and I usually meet once a month usually at the beginning of the month to get our manicure, pedicure, sister day. And um, I decided not to go to the gym this morning because yesterday I went to Town Square with Donya and we had such a good time with Forever 21 and I got a really cute uh, two box shirt and a jumper and I got her a jumper, the same one. <laughs> um, and then we went to Crazy Vita. Anyways, long story short, I had a couple glasses of wine and I woke up and I have like the worst allergies. And I've come to the conclusion that I think I'm allergic to red wine. <laughs> Um, uh, and I'm really dehydrated. So, uh, anyways, long story short, I didn't feel like going to the gym this morning, so I think I'm going to go a little bit later. This is why you don't drink wine, because it just messes with your schedule. So, but we had a really good time. It had been a long time since we'd done that. So, I was definitely happy that we got to hang out, and, um, we decided we were going to go to breakfast uh, at the Eggworks, I think it's called. The Eggworks, yeah. That's where my hubby and I always go. And um, I'm gonna meet my sister and also Faith and Anya. So um, I invited Edwina, but she usually stays up pretty late, so it's hard um, to meet early in the morning. But maybe she'll meet us for a mani pedi. We'll see. So yeah. Anyways, I'm excited. Um, what else? We talked a lot about competing, by the way. So I just thought I'd kind of fill you guys in. I did a competition with Danya, her first one, and that was my second one. And um, neither of us placed, but we, you know, that wasn't really the intent at the time. Um, that was in December of last year. And so she was talking about wanting to do another competition, and the next one that she wants to do is in May, um, which is like a really long time from now. So I told her, I was like, well, I'd love to do a competition that's locally. Um, I'd love to do another one with her. And if I could talk Edwina into doing it, how awesome would it be if all three of us were doing a competition? Hello. How much fun would that be? So it's definitely, it's definitely something I'm thinking about. Um, it would mean that I wouldn't have to be like prepping during the holidays or anything. And so that would be nice. But I also have plenty of time to really kind of hone in on the things I'm trying to work. Like um, just some hamstring, um, the tie-in, you know, hamstring glute tie-in, but just working on my glutes and abs. Where am I going? Oh crap, I took a wrong turn. Okay, I need to focus. All right, I really need to get um, a camera situation for my car. If you guys know of any or can recommend one, um, please do so, because um, driving's great because it's an opportunity where I get to talk to you guys, but it's also not good when you're holding the camera and driving. <laughs> and I also think it's kind of might be illegal in Las Vegas because you're not supposed to be on your cell phone so I'm assuming you're not supposed to be on your camera <laughs> there's no ruling against that though so I guess I could argue that one um, anyways I'm almost here <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'll film um, all of them don't mind being on camera maybe I'll have them say hello so we'll see all right I'll talk to you later but, all right guys we're at Eggworks and this poor guy 
we're ordering and we we're like, we're going to make it real easy. We're going to have the same thing except each of us are going to do something well, different to our order. Now it comes with the potatoes on the side. Oh my God, you guys hear my sister? Okay. Michelle's cool with potatoes. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, it was right, just hilarious. So we're going to do the spinach. This the is where we are. Patty, oh wait. Turkey bacon. <laughs> Where's the cover? Where's the cover of this magazine? <laughs> we're at Eggworks. This is where we are. I think I got it. <laughs> I might come back five times just to make sure. Okay. okay. Totally fine. No, no, totally fine. I'm a pro. Say hi, Faith. Even hi, Faith. Sleep, I'm a pro. Do you want to say hi, Danya? Thank you week. so much. You're welcome. Do you want to see what Danya got for her birthday? Yay. Okay, Ali love. Oh, God. Don't, don't throw out the signs. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Be cool. Be cool. And there's my sister. And look, I'm wearing the same thing. Don't throw out the signs. What happened? These are the polishes I love, you guys. Morgan Taylor. So funny. Selling it as if I get commission. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here. I really like these colors, but I might do gel. <laughs> Only Christmas pillows. No menorah pillows. Oh, oh well. Here's a menorah. Right next to a wreath. Hello there, handsome. <laughs> oh my god, and it's right next to Tupac. Oh. That comfort is so big. Alright guys. Oops, no, in the next aisle. It's kind of sweet, so for it to not have any calories. It's delicious. So we got two peanut butters. One's no stir and one's stir. What's the difference? Oh yeah, look at all the different flavors of Sprouts coffee. Mm. French roast, cookie doodle. I'm smelling them. Cookie, cookie doodle, cookie, cookie doodle. <laughs> How fun is this? Just getting the cookie doodle. And then you can grind it yourself. Hey guys, so just got back from Sprouts. And... I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got some a few different things, so I figured I'd show you. Um, I picked up some of that coffee. I cannot wait to try it. I know we have the Keurig, but I just had to try it. It smells so good. It's the um, Cookie Doodle coffee from Sprouts. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. I picked up another one of those little coconut milk, so delicious, dairy-free vanilla yogurts. I picked up the Crunchy No Stir. And then I picked up um, that chili garlic sauce. I got some more spinach, I got cinnamon toast organic rice cakes, I got two things of green beans, fresh green beans, got some more mushrooms, I got some more tomatoes and I just realized that we have a bunch in the fridge so I'm going to have to eat those too. I got some pecans, no salt pecans, um, I got a sweet potato, gigantic one, two of them. Two really big sweet potatoes. I picked up some of this, um, some more of this coconut secret uh, raw coconut aminos. I use this in my stir fries. And then I also got the no salt added crunchy stirring one that you have to stir. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I'm gonna try some of this Walden Farms pancake syrup. I keep seeing everybody use it. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we'll see. I got some uh, fresh tilapia. Some chicken, some ground turkey, extra lean ground turkey. I got some egg whites, got some cage free regular eggs, I got zucchini, uh, asparagus, and then a couple different little granolas, some English toffee, and then another one I can't remember. And then I also got a little uh, trail mix thing that I wanted. So that is what I got, and I'm gonna start cooking and eat. So, anyways, had a really good day. I loved just being with everybody, and it was just really relaxing. It was kind of a last-minute thing that we decided to do, and I'm glad we did. So, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, I had to come on here because I have been super struggling. Um... 
It's Wednesday and I um, haven't posted a video in a couple days because I lost my SD card that had the footage from the fashion show that you guys just saw and um, just some other footage that I had taken. So I'm going to post uh, my aunt's progress from last weekend. Um, but I just wanted to say hi to you guys. Um, man, I have been struggling with work. Uh, it's a really stressful time right now. Um, it's busy. It's a lot going on with healthcare reform and um, I'm an insurance broker and my whole focus is to solve problems for employers and employees and members um, with their insurance. And as you can imagine, there are always problems with insurance and um, it's hard because I, I care about my clients. I really, really do. And so when they feel as though I don't, um, I take it really personally. And my dad always says, you know, don't take it too personally. You've got to just keep doing what you're doing. But it's hard because you can't do this if you don't care. So anyways, I um, went to the gym yesterday. I had a really good workout uh, and I couldn't uh, film because I don't have my tripod yet. But um, tonight I just, I don't have it in me. I don't want to go to work, work out and I, um, I don't care. It's like normally I would say, you know, chalk it up and go work out. But... You know, sometimes you just need a rest, and I'm giving myself that. I'm also allowing myself to go over to Marshall's and walk around. I just need to get out of the house and kind of regroup. Um, but I just want to thank you guys because you guys have really been somewhat of a support system for me, um, talking to you guys and hearing your story. Um, I know I always say this, but we're all in this together. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to go over to Marshall's, but I'm going to, the reason why I wanted to come on here is because you're going to see some footage and it won't be the fashion show that I left off with because I can't find that SD card. So when I do, I'll plop that in somewhere. But until then, enjoy my aunt's journey. She's certainly motivating me and keeping me focused and um, enjoy the rest of my vlogs. Love you guys. And um, stay tuned. We have a new shirt coming out for Thrifters Anonymous and um, a lot of other things that, that I'm working on. So. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Alright, found a really cute box um, to put her gift in. Responsible growing up stuff. It's for my husband's brother's wife. Um, so my sister-in-law. And then I found this really cute sign. And I also found... Um, a really cute sweater. I'll show you guys later. guys, Marshalls made me feel better, and of course, the hubby met me down there and talked me into getting the puppies a few toys. So we've got the Pet Pal Safari from Marshalls, and these are obviously a lot cheaper than going to like PetSmart, but yeah, they're going to love these. There's the squeakers, guys. Oh, there they are. Say thank you, Marshalls. Sophie. And they're off. So, um, anyways, I was showing you the gifts that I got, and I picked up this really pretty, pretty, like comfy, like really nice sweater. I love it. It's by Mondetta. Data or something. Anyways, um, they benefit a charity foundation, which I love, and um, it was thirty bucks, so not too cheap. But um, I love the material. If you guys can see, it, it's so soft, and it has this like turtleneck hoodie type situation, and then it's got this ribbing on the sides, and then on the arms, it has this ribbing here, and then it has a little hole for your thumb. 
So I got that for her. Just thought that was really cute. Um, I found these. I showed you guys already, but um, I love getting my nails done and going, but usually I do my own, and these are just kind of fun for maybe some photos and stuff, but I love the skulls and the little things, and that was 10 bucks. And then I picked up these pants. I had been eyeing these a while ago, and um, they were on sale. They're by Kenar, and they were on sale for $15, and they're just like these um, wide-legged, really comfy pants, and I love the colors in them, and um, yeah, so picked up those. And then I grabbed this little notepad because I thought it was so cute. Notes of a very busy person. And I like that you can tear out the note, note cards. I'm going to use that. And then I got that mug. Um, and oh, and I got her also another mug that says, Our family runs on love, laughter, and strong coffee. I thought that was really, really cute. And I got her a little thing of Ely coffee. This is really good coffee. And I'm going to put it all in this box. So I'll show you it to you guys. Um, when I'm done. And there it is. And I want to say this cost about um, 38 45 50 bucks for the whole present. And I just love it because I got to pick everything out and I think it's so cute.